question, the first question is uh, for the entire panel. Last week, the VA Inspector General uh, issued a report uh, that found serious problems with VA's National Call Center for Homeless Veterans. The report found that the VA missed 40,500 opportunities to engage homeless veterans, homeless veteran callers with needed services due to lapses in management and oversight. And I know the chairman mentioned this in his op opening statement. Furthermore, the IG's audit found that the majority of messages were left between 11 a.m. and 3 p.m. during the day. The report also stated that counselors spent significant amounts of time unavailable to answer calls during peak calls. This is, this is uh, during peak time period. This is unacceptable. Uh, for the panel, were you surprised by the IG's findings regarding the call center? What, uh, have you, what are your personal experiences? I'd like to hear from you. How would you suggest VA improve the call center's performance? And who do you think should be responsible for operating the overse and overseeing the call center? And uh, I guess we'll start with with uh, Mr. Crone. NCHV has... Oh, Mrs. C I'm sorry, Ms. Okay. Crone. I'm, I'm, I apologize. NCHV has, has said publicly when this came out that we take this report very seriously and it is completely unacceptable that any veteran in crisis, any veteran in need, reaching out to something that should be operating 24-7 should go to voicemail. Um, and we're going to be following the progress on addressing these steps very closely because it's meaningful to us on a national level and to our members. Um, we believe that the steps that are laid out to address the various issues with the call center seem reasonable. Um, we're going to be watching those very closely to make sure that they happen and that the timelines are stuck to. But what's important to remember with the call center is that um, it's a small piece, uh, or it's, it's a piece of the overall outreach effort that we have to homeless veterans within communities. The providers on this panel and the organizations that we work with those are the people who are going out on the streets that are under bridges, that are in shelters, that are looking for veterans in need of services. Um, so it's important to keep this in, in that bigger context that these veterans are likely receiving services and it's thank to, thanks to the community providers that are doing that through funding resources like SSVF. Um, but again, we will be watching it really closely. The, the, I, I think this is just, I think the steps the VA appears to be taking to address the findings in here seem like the right things to do. I think the IG is doing the IG's job, which is good. That's why they're there. Um, we need to have things like this work. Uh, we need to also not get distracted from the major goal of what's going on. When something like this comes up, it's important. Get it fixed, or if it's just not going to work, then... And, get rid of it, and keep moving forward with stuff that works. That's, uh, that's our view. Mr. Down? Well, this was run by VHA, and, uh, you know, it, it kind of boggles your mind that we have the 800 number for homeless and people in need going to VHA and not running it through the homeless program that has a lot of community partners and is used to contracting with community partners to provide service. Because I would suggest to you, again, that agencies like myself and others that operate 800 numbers are very good at responding to people 24 hours a day, are very good at getting the information to where it has to go so people get the critical intervention that we need to prevent the tragedy. So I think that we, what we really have to do is challenge the VA again to look within itself and look at where is the competency in this group and let that group of competent individuals operate it. And, and I think it's, it's shameful that we just put it out there and say, because we've done it and we have all this information flying around, it's going to work. I operate an 800 number for SSVF. I operated with homeless veterans answering the phone 24 hours a day. And when you call and you're in one of our areas, we have a veteran in a, 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 a case manager in your home within 48 hours, any of the five states you're in that we work in. But we've learned that we have to get the information, respond to it, and have backups, and you need to have community partners that respond where you're weak, and that's what we're not doing with the VA. And I know, and I, I mean, I just can't believe with the history of the homeless program and its ability to contract, 
that that's not the perfect thing that should have been moved through them to do the outreach to veterans. Thank you. Uh, Mr. Chairman, I'll, I'll yield back. Thank you very much. Now to the